hallelujah hi family good morning how are you doing I have a powerful revelation from the Lord that I wish to share with you this morning and I really do hope that the category of people involved or to whom I make reference will be not just touched but tremendously inspired and impacted and impacted to a point where change is evoked and experienced in their lives and so I just want to release what God put into my spirit just now it's real talk so where do I begin so last night I was speaking to the Lord in prayer and for the first time in a very long while I found myself um, reflecting on a particular family member who is behind bars I felt like there was a weeping in my heart for this individual and I started to ask God like how did he get there this is an individual who does not lack prayers I believe I pray for this person even more than I pray for my own self literally this individual is always mentioned in my prayer before he ended up there and I've been asking God and especially like I said over the past few hours I'm, I'm like God how did he end up there how could someone who is prayed for so much someone who does not lack prayers of supplication and intercession going up for him how could he end up behind bars and you wouldn't believe the response that I got would you believe it that in that moment when I started to weep in my heart before God I was actually on my knees in the living room area I heard a still small voice immediately respond to me see many times we pray to the Lord we don't really hear a response immediately you know sometimes we have to literally tarry in prayer for a while before we could hear God say something but last night I know I heard his voice respond to me immediately when I asked the question and while I was there weeping I heard the Lord say to me what if it's his purpose that has brought him there I was like huh then immediately he brought the scripture before me he put Joseph before me and he was showing me that it was purpose that brought Joseph into prison I said God what are you saying I want more then the Spirit of the Lord started to reveal to me that in many of the instances in which people have been incarcerated or imprisoned it is their passion he says that brought them there and the Lord says he wants to turn that passion into purpose oh glory to God hallelujah see the enemy's intention is for them to afterward after leaving the prison be persecuted to the point of death but God says what I want to do is to hallelujah not only turn that passion into purpose but whereas the enemy would have intended for them to graduate to persecution hallelujah I want to promote them after prison oh glory to God so there are many individuals right now who are behind bars because their purpose sent them there and I'm not here to say that what they did was right because you know various crimes were com uh, committed from scamming to murder to shooting with intent all kinds of things brought them there but the spirit of the Lord is saying in many of the instances part of the reason why it's like the more we pray the more they keep ending up in these situations is because getting into these situations is part of their purpose the Lord says our purpose will not only take us to where we want to go but sometimes our purpose will cause us to end up in places we really don't want to go like going behind bars so there are many persons this morning who are incarcerated as part of their journey to purpose I know many times we have this stigma toward prisoners but let us realize that there are some prisoners 
who are destined for greatness. There are some prisoners who when they come out, they will be changing the game. Remember Nelson Mandela was imprisoned. Let's go back to scripture. Remember even Peter was imprisoned. Some people's purpose must take them to prison. And that's why we're no longer going to scorn prisoners. That's why we're no longer going to have this stereotype toward them because we don't know what God is doing. Some of them cannot escape going there. It's a part of their threshing. It's a part of the crushing of pride in them. They must go there. The prison is going to humble them to the point where God can use them. And so this morning, as I saw a message just recently from someone who is incarcerated, the person was like, I'm behind bars and I, I'd like you to, to help me out. I need some personal items. This is what I want to do. I want to donate some personal items to, to prisoners. And so if you are in Jamaica, right? And you have a ministry that caters to prisoners. Perhaps you go to the prison and pray with, you know, prisoners from time to time. If you have that ministry in Jamaica, I'd like to donate some personal items to you so that the next time you go there, you can actually take them with you. So I want you to reach out to me and do so by going to my website, shadeenanglin.org. That's www.shadeen. A N G L I N dot O R G. Write me a message and tell me who you are, if it's a legitimate ministry, okay? And this is what you do. I want to partner with you by donating these personal items for them, okay? Because some of them, as I said, they're actually God's servants in the process. And so we want to minister to them, amen? We don't want to forget them. We want to show them love. Hallelujah. So let me hear from you. Bless you.